big win last week. Just mm-hmm. start out with uh, with how Northwestern State. Yeah, uh, you know, the 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 biggest thing, obviously, getting the win. Uh, but the long trip. I mean, the kids left at 10 a.m. on Friday and and stopped and ate on the other side of Memphis and didn't didn't get in Alexandria where we stayed till 8:22 p.m. Uh, so I thought we handled the trip well. I thought um, you know we're ready to play. I mean, anytime you got to wait till six o'clock to play, that's tough, especially uh, on the road. So you know, get off to a good start, get a 14 nothing lead. Unfortunately, you know, turn the ball over there. It could have been you know 17 21 very easily. You get a couple stops. You know, I looked up the scoreboard. We've got 200 and something yards in the 230 40 yards in the first quarter. Uh, you know, so obviously you like the, the way the momentum's going. Um, you know, then the second, third quarters go very quiet offensively. They make some adjustments. We, we kind of um, just kind of shot ourselves in the foot there. Uh, you know, but got the lead 21-3 at halftime uh, to come out and uh, you know get the big win going away. Uh, you know, there's things that we can complain about, and you look at on the tape and say, "You got to do this better. You got to do this better." But uh, no, I'm very pleased, and you know, hold them six times in the red zone, only get you know uh, score one time like that. You know that's good. Now you're looking at how did they get in the red zone, and what well, some things we got to do to 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 play better there. But uh, no, I'm pleased with the kids. Uh, I certainly think we can play better. Still a lot of you know a lot of guys out. Uh, you know, play without some other guys this weekend, but some other guys stepped up. So all in all, pleased and move on to a quality team this week. We always talk program stuff, and one mm-hmm. of the things in this one maybe was never letting them get back or getting momentum after you took the lead. They they kind of tried to there. When it was yeah. Season, but just talk a little bit about what that means program wise for your guys. No, you're right. Now, you know, you can look at it and say, you know, well, you know, if they would have made some kicks, hey, if if uh, you know, if they would have played a little bit better, been a better, been a if they would execute better, right, what would have happened, but uh, but they didn't. And you know, and we had they had something to do with that, and then we had something to do with that. So uh, you know, those those things work together. Every game's its own different, um, you know, on on different story, and and you try to get your team to learn from that and move on. But no, that was big that it never got back down to, you know, uh, what was the closest they got in the second half? Maybe eleven. I think it was eleven. Then we bumped it back up. So um, you know, a lot of big plays in the game. I was, you know, a lot of big runs, uh, some big plays made by a lot of different. Uh, a lot of different skill guys, so that was encouraging. Uh, you know, obviously we've got some some punt return issues that we've uh, we've we fumbled one. Three different guys have fumbled one in three different games, so it's kind of um, you, you know you don't know how much you miss Terry Williams till you know until he's gone. So we got to improve on those things. But yeah, getting to where you know their their crowd being able to serve alcohol and then put the students right behind the bench. <laughs> You know, when I say right behind the bench, I'm talking, I don't know, what was it, 10 feet uh, from where I was standing even. So, I don't know, it probably kind of helped keep us, uh, you know, in the game early and get us off to the good start. Uh, sometimes it can backfire on you and make sure that your your guys are ready to play. Last spring, led the, led the country in block. <laughs> you got enough. You're well on your way to doing that again yeah. this year. Yeah. What does that do for your sideline when yeah. your special teams units on it? Like no, it does. It, it, and Corbin Harbin, I think he led the country last year. You know, he's so he's tall and he's long, and he's got you know pretty good hand-eye coordination, be able to kind of find his uh, his niche there. Uh, no, it does. Um, it, it it gives you some. Uh, you know, we all have. You know how Terry when Terry Williams when they used to punt the ball to us, right? How everybody you know on the sideline was locked in. We're kind of like that on field goal PATs. We we expect to have a chance to get you know, uh, every one or every other one. So, uh, no, that's good. Good job by our defense. Good job by our players. And you're always looking for – got to have something on, on your team that, that you, um, you know, um, that you believe in, that the players believe in mo- mo- most importantly, whether it be, uh, you know, your run game, your throw game, a certain player touches the ball, everybody wants to see it because they know he may be doing something. Uh, you know, you're starting to do that a little bit when Peyton Logan touches it. You're starting to do that when uh, last couple of years when, when Colton Dowell had the chance to, um, you know, push the ball down the field to him and stuff. So that's good. you got to have some players like that. Is Keon another one of those players like that? Because we've seen now that he can score for you and kind of be the, the RPO guy. That really <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. No, Keon's a good player. We've seen that the last three weeks. Uh, you know, every week he's cleaning some stuff up more and more and more. Um, you know, he his like I said, his he he made some really nice throws the other night on time. 
you know, I hate, unfortunately, the uh, penalty. I thought it was a bad call to call the center down the field on a, on a, a, a throw quarterback draw combination. Uh, I mean, he was a yard and a half at the most. Uh, you know, so that would have got him another game over 200 yards with that, you know, 40-something something yard play, yeah. But I think, uh, you know, the thing that Keon gives us is this, is that he wants the ball in his hand. And when it's a, um, whether it be a short yardage play or in the red zone, if the back can't get it in, you know, uh, you know, he'll start yelling over there, let me get it in. Because um, he, he's a good football player, gets under his pads, and, and, and he never shies away from, from uh, competing. And so that, that's given us a better identity. I think the biggest thing I've seen on our football team with Keon at the quarterback position is the mindset of the offensive line. Okay, they, they, he, he pushes them, uh, and they don't want to let him down when it comes to you know being physical, watching the game tape on Sunday because they know he's physical, and I think I've seen that's been that's been one of the brightest sparks you know sparks of our football team. What's been the most pleasant surprise for you for this team through three games? Uh, you know, uh, let's see, we had three Power Five transfers that. Uh, uh, didn't didn't play in the game. Two of them didn't make the trip, and our defense gives up ten points. So, uh, you know, if you if you ask me to be two and one with the schedule we played and the travel, you know, that we had, and we got another one coming up, I would tell you that would probably be. Um, and then, like I said, Keon making the the, um, the 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 giving us that that offensive line a little bit of a um, you know, you can't let your quarterback be more physical than your offensive line. And I think they've uh, they've they've kind of taken that to heart and and answered the bell on that. Those two things. Peyton's not only having a huge year, but do you think that having that mix of Castleberry, Tim, and yeah. Wallace keeps him fresh to have those big runs? Uh, no doubt. I, to, to, we talked about it last week. Two things: one, keeping him more fresh, to where he didn't have to be a twenty-plus carry, you know, twenty carry guy. That's a different deal. And even taking the hits, Peyton's a great pass protector too. And even having you know him having to to and he's good at it, all right. But taking some stuff off of him, uh, that plus his personality has really blossomed. I um, mean, he's a he's a he's a grown man. How he carries himself now and how he competes and how he takes care of his business. I think that has really slowed the game down for him. And you know. Uh, a young player may get frustrated early that they don't have a big run or they're not getting as many carries. He's he's kind of accepted it and understands why we're doing that and keeps himself mentally into the game and does all the little things. And then, you know, the, the yards still count. The touchdowns still still count, and he gets a big run at the end, in, end of the game. Uh, so real proud of uh, Peyton and his um, growth and maturity. Rodney Williams, there's been a lot of attention on him the first several, mm-hmm. first several games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good play. What's that going to do for his psyche? He's none of those older players, but yeah. what's that going to do for his psyche going forward? You know, uh, I hope a lot. I hope he really got Rodney's worked hard. Uh, he he takes a, he takes. Uh, you know, we, we coach him really hard, and we have high expectations for him. And um, you know, so that was good. I mean, him and Keon have really. Um, you know, Rodney's a is a is a is a threat for us, you know, from that tight end position and stuff. And so, you know, Richie's been playing well as well. Uh, if you go break it down and look and, you know, we play them together some in that 12 personnel. But besides that, they're kind of 50-50 when it comes to that. Cause Richie does some good things as well. So both those tight ends uh, combined can, can, can spark our offense. But, yeah, uh, we need to – you know, I don't think anybody on the stat sheet, I guess Colton's probably the leading receiver, especially now that Donnell's been out. Uh, and uh, but nobody's really every game. There's been what seven, eight, nine different guys have caught a ball or so. So I don't think you can necessarily. Yeah, you got to know where Colton Dowell is, but there's other guys chipping in. I'm real proud of our freshman uh, Zoe Roberts. Since Donnell's been out, uh, you know Zoe's a talented guy, and he's worked really hard mentally to be able to help our team. And uh, you know he's been giving us some some quality uh, reps as well. Uh, I was like 92. I was thinking it was Reg, Reggie White. Uh, it means a lot. No, it means a lot. Uh, just not so much of of, of, um, um, of what the fifth uh, in in the OVC. Just uh, sometimes when I slow down, I think, golly, we won 92 games around here. That's uh, I'm proud of that. Uh, I'm proud. A couple things. One, to to be a part of that many wins here at UT Martin. To you know, and then it makes me think about all the good players and good coaches uh, that we've had here, and then the blessing that I've been able to uh, stay in a town and 
make friends, work, work with people, be a part of a community. I, I feel very blessed, and I think, hey, I'm 50 years old. Okay, how many more can we get, you know? And so uh, I'm excited about that. We'll see how far this thing can go. For as long as you've been in this league, to see sort of what has happened to it in mm -hmm. six or nine months, yeah. um, I guess what's your reaction? To I'm not happy. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. Um, I mean, obviously, there's nothing I can do about it. Just coach our team and do the best that, that I can do. Uh, uh, and maybe maybe somebody will ask me about it. Uh, maybe somebody that can do some stuff will ask me about it. I'll, I'll give them my uh, opinion about it, and hopefully we can can improve it. But uh, my opinion is this, F F FCS football, uh, you know, if that's the if that's you know the level that your university wants to play at, it's a good league. It's a good travel league. Uh, I don't understand you know certain travel and 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 the expense that comes with wet, with that. Not only for your, your uh, football team, but for the rest of your athletic program. So, like I said, I I work here at UT Martin, and and those aren't my decisions to make. But uh, you know we're glad to be in the league, and um, you know anybody else that wants to be in the league, it's it's, it's a competitive football league, and uh, we're, we're we're we appreciate it. Well, they beat Florida State, so they're obviously pretty good, you know. Now they're good as usual. Uh, you know, they got good players and good. They're they're coached well, and uh, you know, multiple defensively, and and you know, challenge you a lot. Uh, um, I saw where uh, Cooper didn't play last week. I'm sure he'll be back, you know, this week, and uh, and, and then they're good safety. Uh, didn't, didn't play, and he's an outstanding player as well. So uh, that's about as good as it gets in this country when it comes to uh, uh, FCS football. Okay, and that's a team that if you can stand up to them, not get bullied, and 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 not beat yourself. Those are the two things. And you know, last year in the spring, we jumped out to a ten nothing lead, and um, you know, wasn't able to um, sustain it uh, any success on offense. And then obviously, that their offense got after our defense. So uh, you know, go on the road again. So we've had that experience. So we'll do it again. Although it'll be a lot more hostile environment. Uh, saw where they had a really good crowd last week. So. Uh, you know, that's uh, one one record I'm not proud of is since I've been head coach here, we've, we've not won there at Jacksonville. We, there's been a couple times to where we kind of let the game get away from us and, and didn't come out of there with a win there in the last few seconds. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go down and play, get into the off week the next week. Uh, you know, before we get into conference play, so that's big for us. So, you know, this week, don't think about being tired or hurt guys. Let's, let's strap it up and go play and uh, give ourselves a chance. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. We got out of that game. We did. Bart did a great job with those guys, and the kids did, and Sam Matlock, our strength coach. So, yeah, uh, you'd like to get some of those other guys back, um, you know, see if you get Yabby back, uh, you know, see if um, see if what Donnell can do this week. Um, those are some things you're waiting to, to get back. So, you know, uh, we'll change the way we practice a little bit this week just because of when the kids didn't get into roughly 8 a.m. Uh, Sunday morning. Okay, so I pushed some things back. We'll bring them in until 6 tonight. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll we'll adjust our schedule a little bit, but uh, they'll 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 bounce back. They'll be ready to go on, on Saturday. Winning aside, what's the biggest priority with this game, just in terms of your last pre OVC tune-up? Uh, I don't know if I thought about it. Sometimes I forget that they're not still in the, you know, I think of it as a league game. Uh, we talked before the season started about, okay, getting some signature wins, you know, to build your resume before you get into conference play. Uh, and so, you know, you've got two, you've got a Southern Conference win, you've got a, um, a Southland Conference win. And, and uh, so the, I guess this would technically be a, uh, I'm not real sure what league they're in right now, but they're a top 10 team. Okay, so if they're a top 10 team, then that can certainly build your resume. And so, uh, heck, we'll, we're, we're looking forward to it.